Hey brewers and beer lovers, it's Jake with superbrewers.com just here to answer a question I got from one of my friends recently. They're relatively new to homebrewing, but they ask me, what's the deal with Breaking Bad? There's season two, episode five, um, the episode's titled Breakage. There is a scene where first we see Hank bottling beer, and then later in the show, uh, he's woken in the middle of the night <coughs> by pops and the sound of breaking glass. And it's supposed to sound like gunshots and then breaking glass. And he freaks out, stalks through his house, gets to the garage and discovers that it's his beer bottles exploding. Well, my friend wanted to know what causes bottle bombs. What would cause that to happen? Well, there's three basic causes that could create bottle bombs. Um, first option is just a weakness in the glass. That would be some sort of scratch, defect, or flaw within the bottle that as the pressure built inside the bottle, that point would explode and when that happens since the whole thing is under pressure then that would expand into the rest of the bottle and the bottle would fall apart so that's one possibility the second possibility would be some sort of contamination or uh, some sort of bacteria or other microbe getting in in there that would ferment um, some of the sugars that regular beer yeast was un unable to ferment. And so that could be another explanation. The third possibility is the one that I believe is the problem and that's over priming. So as the scene starts out, you see Hank isn't just a, supposed to be just a casual home brewer. I mean, he's got multiple bottles with airlocks in them. Um, and then as the as it pans over, you see the bottling bucket. There's the siphon tube coming out of the bottling bucket going to the bottling wand that's still in one of the bottles. And if you look behind that bottle, you see another bottle that is full of beer. And so to me, that shows that he primed the whole batch of beer the same. As you're watching, he just grabs one full bottle, puts the cap on, and then caps it. And that's what happens. Uh, his wife shows up, they have an argument, all of that. The whole time he just keeps bottling beer. And so what he did is what a lot of guys do. Um, if you're bottling by yourself, it gets kind of boring to switch back and forth. So you get a good mess of bottles filled let them sit, and then you put the caps on and cap them. And a lot of people would, might say, hey, you know, that's, that's where they got infected. Maybe. Um, I'm, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and just say that in order for the, the scene where he's woken by the exploding bottles to work, all of the bottles exploded at the same time. If you're dealing with some sort of infection or contamination, um, it's it could vary bottle to bottle. Like, same thing with the flaw in the glass. It, you know, it, if that was the explanation, you might get one or two bottles that were handled too roughly, and, or he scratched when he was cleaning them. In the scene, we see him really uh, just cranking on his capper. And I actually use the same bench capper that he had in the scene. But you see him just cranking on that thing. And you don't need that much force. So it is possible the bottles develop some weakness from that abuse. Um, I don't think it's likely 
the main reason, and this is completely anecdotal um, based on my own experience. The only times that, or the only one time that I had bottle bombs, it was a batch of naturally carbonated Brit beer. So there's lots and lots and lots of sugar in there. And it took about a week and a half and um, I, I had left them on the counter and it was really warm and in the space of five minutes I had like six bottles explode and it took me until the third or fourth bottle to figure out what was happening. Um, but so, so I, I think that in order for the bottles to explode so close together and I mean it, it was they were all within 30 seconds to a minute of each other they had to have the same problem in every bottle and based on the show you know we're looking at maybe um, two or three days is kind of the time period that I the impression that I got um, watching the show was that it was just a couple days when this happened so based on that I'm gonna assume that it was just caused by over priming why would that happen I mean obviously he's this isn't a new hobby for him um, he has his own um, labels on the bottles that he fills uh, he references uh, the batch of Christmas 2006 which was three years prior to when the episode aired so this isn't a new hobby what would cause a relatively experienced home brewer to over prime his bottles and that brings us to the the content of the show at, at the time um, he is the reason that he gets in the argument with his wife is because he took the day off of work the day that he would basically be starting his new hire position with the DEA and he called in sick and so he did that somebody that seems to take that much pride in their homebrew is that experienced probably has a not necessarily a rigorous schedule but they probably have it scheduled out when they brew when they bottle and when um, things happen just based on what they know about their own schedule and about the beer that they like to make so this was um, in in the episode the promotion happened rather unexpectedly it seemed like um, it was something that he'd been waiting for for a long time but he didn't expect it to happen that day and then when he received it he had a nervous breakdown in the elevator and then um, he took the next day off of work when he's supposed to be starting in this new position and he chooses to bottle beer so I'm my guess would be that the beer hadn't finished fermentation yet he may have just made it a few days prior so there could have still been really active fermentation still happening and then also if he added priming sugar to this the batch of beer and then bottled that's adding even more sugar and since the yeast was so active at that point if it really was during primary fermentation it's gonna take off so fast I mean the yeast is already going gangbusters and at that point building up enough pressure in the matter of a couple days wouldn't be unreasonable in my opinion especially in a place like Albuquerque where I mean his garage might have been 80 90 100 degrees I, I mean it it was his man cave so it might have been climate controlled but it, it could get really hot and that would really kick up the the yeast fermentation so that's my theory on why Hank's beer bottles exploded in Breaking Bad if you have another theory think I'm wrong 
comment below. If you have questions, post them below. Send me an email, jake at superbrewers.com. Um, and I'll do my best to answer your questions too. And please, if you like this video, subscribe. And remember, home brewing's fun, so brew up an adventure.